S&P Post Tension Company Limited is a company operating business about designing, estimating price and producing and installing post tension, as well as giving advices about technical matters by proficient and highly experienced engineers and teams to respond satisfaction of customers with quality and punctuality. Rules for stressing strands of post tension slab. According to the standard of ACI, the jacking strength should not exceed 80% of FPU, which does not reach the yield point. Thus, the relationship between stress and strain is in linear. Stressing strand process. Preparation. 1. Check concrete compressive strength. Stressing strand will be done if the compressive strength reaches the designated value under the approval from the engineer. 2. Inspect equipment for stressing strand. Hydraulic jack and hydraulic pump should be calibrated every six months from the acceptable educational institute. 3. Determine position on pressure gauge. Determine gauge reading obtaining from the calibration on pressure gauge. 4. Step of stressing strand. 1. Pull 50% of band tendons on each column strip except from the extra tendon. 2. Pull all uniform tendons. 3. Pull at the rest of band tendons. 4. Pull all band extra tendons. 5. Pull all uniform extra tendons. Five, sequence of stressing by uncouraged size. Stressing strand near the center of uncouraged before pulling next left right one. Six, prepare stressing report. Values in stressing sequence and elongation are obtained from calculation by length and profile of strand. Identify calculated elongation in stressing report. Elongation from stressing will have plus or minus 5% deviation. Procedures of stressing and elongation measuring. 1. Remove former. 2. Install block and jaws. 3. Spray paint. 4. Start stressing strands with 37.5% force of FPU to set up and then stressing strand at 75% of FPU. Elongation measured in range of 37.5% to 75% will be identified in the table at 75% space. Such value will be multiplied with 2 to find total elongation. The reason why value at 75% of FPU is multiplied with 2 is because stressing will start giving force at 37.5% of FPU, but elongation cannot be measured due to the inclusion of sagging. Therefore, we use elongation at range of 37.5% to 75% equal to 0% to 37.5% to be multiplied with 2 to find total elongation. It can be noticed that total elongation is more than calculated value, but it does not exceed plus or minus 5% deviation, and thus, force increase is finished. 5. Attach jaws to block. By reducing tension to 37.5% of FPU, and measuring reduced elongation and then record value in stressing report in after transfer stress. Deduct elongation at 75% with after transfer to obtain total strand slip. After that, deduct total strand slip with end of strand slip to obtain final slip value and filled in slip space in table. Six. Stress next strand. Stressing strand at 37.5% of FPU for setup 
and then stressing next strand at 75% of FPU. After that, measure elongation in range of 37.5% to 75% and fill it in 75% table. Multiply such value with 2 to find total elongation. It can be noticed that total elongation is not in range of deviation, so it is necessary to increase tension Increase tension from 75% to 80% of FPU and measure elongation at 80% before recording it in 80% space. Plus, elongation at 75% with 80% and record it in, in space total elongation. The reason of this addition is because tension at 80% its elongation measured in range of 37.5% to 80% as elongation at 37.5% to 75% is 0% to 37.5% Elongation calculation thus requires 0% to 37.5% plus with 37.5% to 80% We can see that total elongation is more than calculated value, but it does not exceed plus or minus 5% deviation, and so tension increase is stopped. Attach jaws to block by reducing stress to 37.5% of FPU and measure reduced elongation. Record octane value in stressing report in space after transfer. Deduct elongation at 80% with after transfer to obtain total strand slip. After that, deduct total strand slip with end of strand slip to obtain final slip value and fill in slip space in table. Seven, stressing all remaining strand in orders as above specified. In case wire length is over 30 meter, it is necessary to stress strand in two directions to reduce friction loss of strand. Procedures of stressing in two directions. The procedures are the same as one end stressing. Strand will be stressed in both ways simultaneously. 8. Cut strand end. 9. Fill socket with mortar. Bring stressing report to be verified and certified by the engineer before delivered to the project. After this, the procedures of stressing are completed. <laughs>